my name is Tamara and I'm from London, England. Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm from United States. So you guys are here for like work? Uh, we're both students. Oh, now. oh students. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So I'm studying Japanese uh -huh. uh, language at Waseda. Like, ah, okay. Yeah. And I'm studying Japanese literature mm -hmm. at the University of Tokyo. Oh, wow. <laughs> so how long have you lived in Japan for? So I just got here a few months ago. I got here in September. Uh -huh. um, and we'll be here for at least one more year, maybe longer, if I can get a job after. So you are looking for a job in Tokyo or in London? I would like in Tokyo, okay. if possible, if my Japanese gets good enough. <laughs> <laughs> but you are, you say like uh, your parents is So yeah, my mom dad is dad Japanese is from Tokyo. Okay. Um, but we always spoke English when I was a kid, so I never, I never really um, yes. picked it up. Yeah, so unfortunately I'm not bilingual. <laughs> do you have family here? I do, yeah, I have like a Gigi and a Baba and um, uncle and some cousins, but I've actually only seen them once, which is really bad. So sometimes you come to Tokyo to see your grandpa and grandma? Sometimes, like, but it was it really was when I was a kid, like every five years or something oh, like that. Yeah, it's yeah. so far. It's a long way. <laughs> it's a long way, it's a lot of money. So yeah, so yeah I haven't like, met up with them so often. Ah, uh, okay. And I've been here 12 years. 12 years? <laughs> yeah, a long time. Uh, wow, it's been a yeah. long time. Yeah. Oh, oh, I I lived in no, I lived in um, Tochigi Prefecture for three, three years. Yeah. Really? And then came back to Tokyo. That sounds good. So you really like Japan? Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> that's why you stay here for yes, three years. Yes, yeah. <laughs> of Okay. Uh, well, that's all together. Sure. Um, I studied a year abroad uh -huh. when I was a um, undergrad student mm -hmm. in university, and then I went back to the States and graduated my own university. Uh -huh. And then I came to Japan to go to Tochigi to teach on um, the JET program, um, which is like a program run by the Japanese government to mm -hmm. get foreign teachers to teach to uh, yeah, yeah. kids. Yeah. Um, and then I got a job in Tokyo and worked for about six years. Um, and now I'm back in graduate school. Wow. Yeah. You are going to a graduate school of University of Tokyo? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. Impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Cute, cute Cucumber. Yeah. I like this. Me too. I like the like crunch. I mean, I like pickles. All pickles. So. Pickles, yes. Pickles is very much Yes, I guess it is. Yeah, we like pickles. But I like the variation of pickles in Japan. It's not American pickles are like there's two different types of pickles. It's always cucumber. Whereas Japanese like skimono has you know all different types of cabbage and carrots and radish. Yeah. And I love such. Oh, good. Oh, you like wasabi? I love wasabi. I prefer it to chili. I prefer the chili flavor. It's like a different spicy to chili. You prefer wasabi to like the spicy type stuff? Mm, yeah. Okay. Like it's very like English mustard. So. But it's not. I wouldn't eat it on everything. Like I love mm. it in sushi, but I don't like as much like. I'm not a big fan of takawasa, which is um. like just octopus and wasabi mixed together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's okay. Yeah. What's your favorite like sashimi or sushi topping? Mm. Um, uni. Uni. Okay. Ah, uni. Uh, uni. You like uni? Mm. Okay, okay. I really love them. You like something most foreigners do not like. Because <laughs> you say like... Uh, I know, I was just talking about, um, about um, natto. Yeah, I love natto. So, yeah, yeah, so before yeah. I came to Japan, I'd never eaten it just because it's not very common in England. And um, when I got here, I wanted to try it because I'm very intrigued because I know it divides so many people. Um, but I, all my friends were like, oh my god, no, don't try it. It's disgusting, <laughs> it smells, like, it's, it's so bitter. Um, and so I was like, oh, okay, maybe I don't want to try it then. And so I put it off and I put it off. I tried it a few weeks ago. I love it. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> I, know, it's really? Good. I don't even think the flavor is that offensive. I don't think it's that bitter. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it, Maybe smelly. it's the like stickiness that people don't like. That, I that. Yeah. It's a little bit annoying. Like, yeah, when coming it's coming yeah. to do the strings. Hear, they say like um, that you should never have natto on a date with someone in Japan because like you end up with it all over yeah. your things. <laughs> I like that this restaurant has like very American music playing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We had Green Day a second ago, and now it's like, wow. <laughs> but you miss your country? Like, uh, you stay here for a long time? And... Um, not so much. Not so much? No. I miss some things. I miss really good Mexican food. Oh. And I miss, 
don't know, it's normal now. I don't feel like I'm in a foreign country now. Uh, um, um, and I grew up in New York, but I went to school in Seattle, Washington. Oh, Seattle. Okay, and okay. Seattle has a very cool culture, which um, I miss a lot. Mm. Yeah, like a coffee shop? Yes. Starbucks. I love to, because Seattle, um, Tokyo has coffee shops, yes. but they don't have the sort of like coffee shops where everybody gets their, their own sofa and they sit there for hours and mm. it's all warm. Yeah. It's mostly like little tiny tables yeah, and you I sit know. and you're very uncomfortable. Yeah, I, I don't like it. Okay, what do you usually eat in your hometown? Um, I mean, I'm from London, so there's so many people from like different nationalities and so there's such a like great diversity yeah. of food, so like obviously Indian food is hugely popular, um, Caribbean food is very popular, Vietnamese is one of my favourites, but I also really, and it gets a very bad rep, but I love English food as well. We have like English pie and mash and like, Ice. exactly, English fry Yeah, Sunday roast is like, yeah. Yeah, I had a lot about it from uh, the foreigners I made. What is Sunday roast? So Sunday roast is kind of like basically what we eat on Christmas, but like a little bit different. So you can have any kind of meat, so it could be like chicken, lamb, Beef, pork, roasted, and then you have it with roasted potatoes. Ooh. Ooh. Looks good. Yep. So what's all in it? Yeah. It's uh, pork, some chickens. Okay. Chicken balls. Chicken balls. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, deep fried tofu, cabbage, some mushrooms. Okay. And the broth is, is that the chicken broth? The chicken broth. Yes. Okay. But I can tell you, like uh, compared to the normal hot pot, it has really a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's inside true. the pot. <laughs> yeah. It's packed in. Yeah, it's packed. Right. Please okay. try. Okay. Yes. Oh, the broth is good. Mm -hmm. You said this is salt broth, right? Mm. Okay. Very good. <laughs> yeah, it's the best time to eat like this meal. Yeah, very warm. I can't imagine eating it. I'm sweating. Where I'm originally from, in Buffalo, New York, mm -hmm. is there's a lot of like um, Italian American people. Mm -hmm. So um, we have a lot of like heavy Italian food. It's like our main fare, like baked pasta and lasagna and um, like pizza. risottos and pizza, like big thick crust pizza. Oh, yeah. So that I do miss a little bit. Oh yeah. That yeah. Sounds really yeah. Good. <laughs> um, if you go to like really traditional Buffalo Italian places, like people will order a pizza just for themselves and it's like this big. Oh. Mm. It's so good and warm. No. Do you mind if I have more? Yeah, oh, sure, sure, sure. Thank you. Mm. I'm really glad that I lived in Tochigi for yeah. the three years that I did because it's very different than Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Tokyo is, you know, many different cultures. You can get whatever you want. In Tochigi, it's not like that. It's all Japanese food all the time and it's very traditional. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Do they have like a, a specialty? They have strawberries are one of their specialties. Oh, yeah. They use the strawberries or actually, um, we're actually eating them today, these leek mm -hmm. things called mida. Those are, come a lot from Tochigi. So um, when I taught in a school, they used to have their school lunches would have what they called um, mida bohan. Oh, no, really? Yeah, which is yeah. like you just steam the rice and then you um, boil mida and then you chop it up and mix it with salt and um, uh, sesame, white sesame seeds. Mm. Mm. Quite good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's not yeah. something that you really yeah. eat around here. Well, mm. Sounds good. It's very good. Yeah. Strawberries in Japan are so expensive. Yeah. Ah, yes. Fruit in Japan, yeah, is, very in Japan expensive. is expensive. Yeah. Yeah. And so large. I don't know about America, but like a, an apple in Japan is probably like at least double, if not three times, the size of oh. an yeah. apple in England. Yeah. But don't you think they're delicious? Yeah, they are. They're very. Like, if you just yeah, if you just go to a regular supermarket in the states and get an apple, there's a 50% chance that it's going to be a gross apple. Yes, yes. <laughs> but like mm. all apples in grocery stores are delicious. Yeah, um, that's very true. And so much sweeter, I think, mm. than like fruit in America. Yeah. These chicken balls are very good. Mm. <laughs> what is um, Japanese food in the UK like? 
Mm. Wagamama? Wagamama. Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea what you were talking about. I thought you were talking Because it means selfish, and I'm yeah, like, what are you no, talking no, about? No. Yeah, the name of the restaurant has changed. Yeah, from. I mean, to be fair, to give it to them, they probably were the first, like, cheapish, like, affordable Japanese chain, but, um... What, like, an Asian fusion? Yeah, Asian yeah. fusion, but the stuff is not, like, that great. Mm. So we have a few of those, kind of pretending to be Japanese food but not Japanese food kind okay. of places. But if you know the right places to go there are some like very mm -hmm. like authentic ones. Okay. So what do you study? At the moment I just study Japanese language. Oh okay. Completely yes. Um, I'm Mada Mada but I'm trying. Yeah. But then before that I was studying um, French and mm. English literature. Oh, okay. mm, so quite different. <laughs> but I'm also very interested in like Film production and video editing. So it's quite oh, yeah? interested to see your yeah, setup. Yeah, yeah. And this was a it was a great, great opportunity. Very, very good opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. You finished everything? I did, and it was delicious. It, it was. felt very healthy and warm, and I feel like I can go enjoy the rest yeah. of Tokyo today. <laughs> it's so cold outside, but I yeah. think actually we're going to be warm like walking, walking all day. Yeah. <laughs> actually, I'm a little bit hot. So. Yeah, yeah. It felt really good. It's the first time that I've had chanko. Uh -huh. chanko. I've had nabe before, but never specifically chanko. So it's mm. like, oh, so that's a new experience. Okay. Thanks so much. Yeah, it was good. It was very good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you.